Okay, let's say we want to find the fourth term in the recursive sequence a n plus 1 equals to 3 halves a n plus 10. And we're going to start off with a sub 1 be equal to 4. All right. So using the formula, let's start off with n being equal to 1. That means a n plus 1 is going to be a sub 2. Using the formula, we get a sub 2 then is equal to 3 halves a sub 1 plus uh, 10. Since we know what a sub 1 is, we can plug in 4 for that. And then let's simplify 3 halves times 4 is equal to 6. And 6 plus 10 is 16. So now we know what a sub 2 is. What about a sub? So now we know what a sub 2 is. We'll use a sub 2 to find 3. Of a sub 3. So a sub 2 is 16. Let's do the same argument. a sub 3 is equal to 3 halves a sub 2 plus 10. 3 halves times 16 is 24. 24 plus 10 is 30. Let's do it again to find a sub. Let's use a sub 3 to find a sub 4. So we put in uh, 3 halves a sub 3 plus 10, a sub 3 is 34, 3 halves of 34 is 51, 51 plus 10 is 61, so a sub 4 is 61, a sub 4 means it's the fourth term of the, of the uh, recursive sequence. So we have found the fourth term, it is a sub 4, uh, which is 61. Now if you were doing it on a calculator, it would look like this. Let's say you did this on uh, TI-84. We just type in 3 halves times 4 plus 10 and calculate gives you 16. Then you will put, you would basically copy and paste and put the 16 where the 4 was. Press enter. And then when you get to 34, put the 34 where the 16 was and then get 61. And that's how you would perform the whole sequence on the calculator.